Alright, here you have it folks. Um, for those of you that have been waiting for a video tutorial on how to modify the battery pack on the new Upson X4 Plus, um, here's how I did it. I have my original battery and the uh, back casing. That's right there, clips right back on. Um, and your original old school X4. Took the power cable off the old one, soldered it. You got your right red wire, which needs to connect to the first. There are three prongs at the top that your battery connects into. The first two on the right both need to be your positive. The left one is your negative. Here we go. Both the original and the original and the other one. Okay. Um, I've tested this and it turns on and it can run on two batteries uh, with this setup. Um, I suppose I would strap the original battery from the original X4 to the bottom and have this one slide in underneath. Um, Alright, it uh, wasn't bad at all. There's a couple of screws and your lights, your LED light covers that need to come off in order to take your top plate off. So there's a total of eight screws and what's nice about the new model is it has um, guards against sand and debris getting and hairs and such getting into your motor you can see the little plastic cover there um, and then a rubber gasket underneath it the motors are seemingly the same as the original with another rubber vibration gasket at the bottom um, let me pull the original one on the side just to show you a comparison as far as the motherboard goes or the main board the new one's definitely much larger uh, the new one of course has your um, altimeter the old one does not uh, the new one also has an on off switch right there at the bottom right corner uh, the little button you can press in you hold that for about two seconds and it will turn the unit on um, and of course your main on off button right there didn't hold it long enough. There we go. Three seconds. And here we go. show you that I can also put the original battery in. Actually, I haven't tested whether there's enough space, but here we go. Uh, it looks like I'll need to loosen the screw a bit. And that would be this screw. Move the cord over. Behind that part right there. Okay. Original battery. Slides right in. 
other battery also connected. Alright, let's turn the unit on. Two batteries connected. Pairing is complete. Power on. Running off two batteries. Does not sound like it has more power. It will uh, probably just last longer. So. All right, I'm gonna put it back together, and um, my next video will be a. Um, flight test. Thank you all for watching. on two batteries and there you have it folks